Hey guys, it's Kenzie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a <coughs> video on advice for people just starting dance because I know a lot of you guys comment on my videos, say that you are a little bit older, like 12, 10, whatever, 15, whatever, and you're just like wanting to start dance. And I know that it can be like kind of nerve-wracking and scary so i'm just gonna give you guys some advice and while i did start at four years old i just feel like i've been dancing for a while and i know like what you need to like kind of survive in that atmosphere if you know what i mean let's just get into it The first thing I would recommend is kind of changing your mindset if you're scared to do this, to change it to being just very open and curious and carefree, careless, whatever in that like environment because you know it's gonna be hard at first, like you're not gonna be able to pick it up like super quick. I mean you might and if you do that's great, but don't be upset if you're not as flexible as other people, if you're not as um knowledgeable and technique and like other things like that because you're just starting out and you can make mistakes and it's fine and you have to allow yourself to do that don't be fearful about it don't let fear kind of dictate your life and if you love dance or you think you're gonna love dance and you really want to dance then go for it because you only live once and if you want to do it do it because like who cares but don't back out of it because the dance community is pretty small compared to like sports and things like that. Please join the dance community. It's great and um, it's really fun art. Even if you're not like the best at it, it's still like super fun. So the next thing that I would say to make sure you know is like etiquette. When you get into a class, make sure that you know how to work in a dance class environment. Make sure you're in appropriate attire with your hair up preferably in a bun like i know um i don't know how other studios are but yeah don't talk during class um uh, always be respectful always pay attention share the space with other dancers if you're in the mirror and you're standing like directly in front of a person and they can't see themselves like move over like that kind of like common sense kind of stuff i just make sure to like know that because you don't want to be like worrying about all of that I promise you everybody in that class is in that class for themselves and nobody is going to be looking at you or judging you and you know if they are like so be it I bet they have many insecurities that they're insecure about and that's why they're trying to find other people's insecurities so don't worry about them and kind of just do your own thing live it up have fun you know and like I touched on a bit earlier don't be afraid to make mistakes because making mistakes is part of your learning process and so in reality making mistakes is good because then you learn from it and you learn how to if it's like for technique you learn how to fix yourself try not to rush things especially if you're an older dancer and you know you want to be at a very advanced level but you're just not there yet because you're just starting out don't rush things because it's not gonna do anything for you if you rush things you'll probably not learn as much you'll probably injure yourself um and injuring yourself will just set you back even farther and yeah you just don't want to do that make sure that oh, you're really absorbing what the teacher says and stuff i know a lot of the times when you're in class um i know i've done this a lot because i've been dancing my whole life i don't know if people just starting out now would do this but you kind of just zone out don't do that in class especially when you're starting out i know that some teachers like talk and talk and they don't stop talking or like their voice is just so monotone that like you just can't listen to them it's really important especially when you're starting out to listen to your teachers because they most of the time um they'll have good tips and injury prevention and technique things that you'll need to know and learn to be able to dance like even if it's something in a ballet class that will apply to your jazz and your contemporary so it's always just important to really just um be listening to the teacher and applying it 
on yourself and if you don't know how to do that like ask questions don't be afraid to ask questions it's probably going to be a little bit hard in a class setting to ask like how do i do this or whatever because it's not like a coaching setting but honestly the teacher will probably like be more than happy to help you figure it out because then the whole class learns like what question what question you're asking so yeah so if you have a question about anything just just ask and the next thing i'm probably like the last thing i don't know if i can think of anything else right now diversif di diversify yourself in all styles of dance including ballet and including hip-hop if you can take all these classes that's really good but if you can't diversify like if you can only take a couple classes like don't worry about it but if you can and if you really want to dance that's what i would recommend just because having it like being well-rounded is just like it'll help you in each style so each style will like connect to each other i don't know <laughs> i grew up doing all styles so that's like what I think, but I don't know. But make sure you really focus in your ballet class because that's basically the foundation of like everything, especially jazz and contemporary. So if you really like those styles, make sure to work hard in your ballet classes because then it'll all just flow and everything will connect and things. I would recommend taking a lot of summer classes, a lot of summer intensives, get different teachers' perspectives, learning, different things from different teachers if you can and if financially you can and stuff like that and another question that a lot of people have is about point shoes and stuff and to be honest it's very personal but if you're just starting out um i would give yourself if you're starting out older like i would give yourself a good two to three years um but that's just if you work really really hard on your foot strength and your technique but it's honestly personal for everyone and i would just ask your dance teacher or whatever if you're ready because you definitely want to make sure that you're ready because you don't want to be injured and make sure that you're getting good quality point shoes and that you're fitted well those are basically my tips for people starting out dancing right now because yeah i, I don't even know how many comments i get saying that you guys um like really want to start ballet or hit dance or whatever and you're 16 whatever so yeah that's kind of why, why i wanted to make this video for you guys and i hope that it helped you guys if you're like a little bit scared but i hope you guys like this video and i hope it helps if it helps please let me know and share your stories and your questions because this video is honestly just about helping you guys um why well, is my other videos are kind of like entertainment so yeah um i love you guys so much stay confident bye